Just two and a half months ago, this rice field was planted. And now that the rice plant's in the reproductive phase, it'd be a great opportunity to give you guys a progress report out in the rice field. But first, let's get on our hip boots. So as you can see, one seed planted in the spring has produced this three foot long plant. It's in the reproductive phase as I mentioned. Soon, these kernels will start being filled with a milky-like substance that will harden and become rice as you know it. However, that process hasn't started yet, and that's why the heads of this rice are standing straight up. Eventually, as they begin to fill, they'll become a little bit more heavy. This is our last planted field. It'll be the last field that's going to be harvested, so it's completely normal. And just in a bit, I will show you a rice field that was first planted, and you'll see the big difference between the progress of the plant. But right now, I want to show you a baby American bittern that's just over there that I found when checking the progress of the rice. You guys know what an American bittern is, right? Like you've seen one of those nature documentaries on BBC. The American bittern, stoic in nature, almost militaristic in stature, as if it's saluting the American flag. Its upright posture is a survival mechanism in an attempt to blend in to its surroundings. In the California rice growing counties of the northern Sacramento Valley, the colloquial term for this majestic bird is poop squawk. Because when the American bittern takes flight, it poops and squawks. Now, let's return to Matthew Sliger of Rice Farming TV as he has come across the rare opportunity to introduce to us the ever most cute baby poop squawk. Okay, it's just over here. I noticed the nest because all these rice plants were pulled up and kind of created a circle around it, kind of like some sort of boundary. Anyway, let's kind of sneak up on it. We don't want to wake it up if it's sleeping. Well, what do you guys think? Pretty cute, right? Well, whether you agree with me or not, I will say this is one of the rewarding things about being a farmer, working in the outdoors, having this beautiful view, breathing in fresh air, and coming across all kinds of wildlife whenever. Also at the equipment yard, you gotta see this nest. There's a sparrow nest that's in the header. So not only are rice fields perfect habitats for all kinds of species, but around the equipment yard as well. And that's just something people don't think about. Anyway, let's get back to the pickup because I want to take you over to the field that was planted first on our ranch and so you can see the difference between the progression of the rice plants. Come on. Oh, whoa, okay, sorry for this extreme close-up, but as I was on the way over to the field that was planted first that I wanted to show you guys, I just ran into something which exemplified my point earlier about how rewarding it is to be out here in the rice fields working in nature. Behind me, there's a family of deer, so I got my zoom lens on. Let's see if I can show you guys up close. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? Such a pleasant surprise. Now, let's check out that rice field that was planted first about three months ago to compare the difference of the rice field that we saw at the beginning of this episode. So as you can see, these kernels are nice and heavy, filling up quite nicely. They're actually starting to harden. Now we still have about six inches of water out here, so it's not quite yet time to drain the rice fields. However, I anticipate in about five weeks, we'll be harvesting this rice field. Time flies when you're having fun. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments section. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Have a great day, everybody.